don't know even the names of the stars. Yes, they are astrologers now. The second, those who know what the names of stars. <laughs> and nothing else than that. So, let us come to the point. On this basis, there are innumerable schools of thought. Let me start with that. Swara Jyotisha. By means of a person's reciprocity in a person's Shwasa and Nishwasa. It is a breath control. It is not breath control like pranayama. It is a, a sagaja swasa sthiti by means a, a person's chandra and surya vasa or surya pravesha, they are understood by means of the gati, vigati and kugati, it is interpreted. And it is a science which is inspired on respiration process and control over the respiration, the natural control or the reflective control over the nostrils when a person is placed, thought or intervened. That is one of the Second, there is a Ramala Jyotisha. Third, there is Prashna Jyotisha. Fourth, there is Rekha Shastra. And Akash Jyotisha, it is a type of Mansi, Theomancy, Geomancy, Polymancy, Plutomancy, Ethiomancy, Epistomancy, Metamancy, Metimancy. Innumerable Mansi systems are there. It is Adarsha Jyotisha. Then Rekha Jyotisha. Anka Jyotisha with numbers. Anga Jyotisha, Physiognomy. Kesha Jyotisha. Naka Jyotisha. Chitra Jyotisha. Drishti Jyotisha. Utpalana Jyotisha, Chinta Jyotisha, Sparsha Jyotisha, Hora Jyotisha, which we are having in the form of astrology. There are more than 600 types of Jyotishas or predictions as it is enlisted by our ancestors. Out of which Hora is said to be the best. Because as we are having limited requirement of intuition in astrology, because most of the things are by calculation. Most of the things are by calculation, understanding and visible areas. Only that invisibility, unintelligibility or divinity requires a small starter, whereas the runner is a practical mathematical calculation. Whereas in Kesha Jodhita, Jodhita, even if the person is fully available, we cannot predict. How we can predict with the person's hair or with the nail? It is impossible. Those things are also existing. They are also realistic, veritable and practicable. But the proportion of our intuitional status is more in that rather than in these things. So, as it is very much essential, as it is very much exhaustive, as it is very much uh, compatible with that of the inferior standards of the modern prediction school of thought, it is very much uh, so everybody can very easily practice these things rather than other things because it is Vistara. What is Vistara? Vistara means it is exhaustive, it can interpret everything. Bahumuka, it is multidimensional. Tulya, accurate. It has four wings. Two wings in its subtlety, two wings in its tangibility. What are the two wings in subtlety and tangibility? Karana and Varana is in subtlety. Kala and Karya is in tangibility. What will happen to the person? Irrespective of the area, what will happen to a person? That is known as Karya. Either that is samslesha or vishlesha in relations. Separation and unison in relations. Nashta and Prapti. Getting and losing things with wealth, janana and marana, birth and death, with the nature of sojourning of the soul inside the body. So whatever may be, either with the relations or with the possessions or with the possessor or his birth and death, innumerable divisions are there in the society. Each and everything is controlled by a dual complex that is known as Dvandhuva. So all of these things, Bahu Mukha, multidimensionally they can be approached here. When it will happen, to whom it will happen and what will happen, these are all tangible. Why it is happening, that is a causal study, karma vijnana. Why it is happening is causal study, karma vijnana. And how to overcome that or how to withstand it, how to create either a miracle to overcome it or to create such a tinnacle of courage or the standingness, a moral or spiritual prowess by which we can overrule it. So both of these things are varana, they are possible only by a spiritual pursuit, so that is in subtlety. So this is Bahu Mukha, this Vara Shastra is Bahu Mukha, it can deal with lot of these things. Let us start with few things. The first thing is very simple. There are four major skills in astrology. One is Ganana, second is Shodhana, third is Paladana, third is Pariharana. What is Ganana? Ganana is calculation. Second is known as Shodhana, to ascertain your calculations. Shodhana has one more Siddhi, that is known as Vyavriti. That is known as Vyavriti. It cannot be written in any book, Vyavriti Shodhana. If a horoscope is given, you cannot create a competition society. First you have to ascertain that you are perfect or not. How to distinguish, how to do that Vyavriti between a person who is alive and dead? 
we used to say it as a very jovial story one of uh, the some great vr tamil nadu for checking the precision of the standards of astrologers they used to give the horoscopes of their cooks or drivers just as it is done and immediately the astrologer thinking that it is the horoscope even if the person is a very calculable person very knowledgeable person just on a very peripheral and uh, or a superficial vision the person will immediately think that the horoscope is that of the vip and immediately start uh, predicting that you are very great because of these yogas <laughs> like uh, shashamangal yoga then gajakesa yoga innumerable things he will start telling the stories even if he is logically reasonable his uh, theory of reasoning or capability of reasoning will be clouded immediately if you ask for from a vip is given he will start predicting with his inference and the experience uh, rather than his uh, talent and the knowledgeable uh, thing in the scriptures so immediately he uses not the shastras he used this andarbha and start the prediction so likewise vyavrutti in astrology is really said to be very fruitful or deep in sense you must be having the capability of distinguishing a dead person from person alive the person who is that is yoni nishchiti what is yoni nishchiti whether it is a male or female whether it is a human being or not these things require some sort of preternatural supernatural way of acquisition not by knowledge acquisition methodologies so yoni nirnaya eh? mriti nirnaya sthana nirnaya uttita nirnaya everything this is not a shodhana whether the calculation is made correct or not this is the real horoscope of the person or not either they must have made a blunder in the timings or in any of the calculating systems of making the kundalini etc so all of these things can be well understood in shodhana then the third thing is phalana or phaladana that results with your persons yukti buddhi yogyata kripa then lack of innumerable qualities like that like magnanimity velocity of uh, a very great mercy and uplifting altruistic nature towards the person instead of thinking them as that is a uh, ducks which are giving golden eggs instead of thinking them as customers or clients etc thinking them as our own brothers who had come for a practical way of support for their well being and upliftment such a person merciful person will have akatita hetta prakashante even though the untold things even though the calculations are wrong his prediction will not go wrong so if it is not there even though the calculations and the charts are perfect his calculations will go wrong so it requires uh, some sort of ethical and spiritual principles without which it will become just a show in the world so this is how we have to deal with ganita shodhana phalana and pariharana pariharana remedial measure we want to say and in pariharana i want to say something it is not the willing full or intentional intrusion of all of the planets that they have to disturb us either for contribution or retribution either for our upliftment or downfall there is no reason for the planets to interrupt and no jyotish shastra the ancient treatises they govern the worship of these navagraha they don't consider that they are responsible they are the symptoms by which we can understand our fate and the proceedings of fate. they are just a symptoms they are just a signals either the drishti the sara or gochara or the mutuality parasparya either that being mitra shatru or mitha in nature all of these things they are just symptomic studies for understanding the nature they are not influential factors because they are not the distinguishing factors because they are not the governing factors god is the governing factor so he is the distinguishing factor as he is the distinguishing factor he is the influential factor then he must be then he must be realized and relish in his mind for understanding these things either to develop a moral courage to withstand or to make it flexible so that we can do for a better cause in the world doing something for the welfare of the society or welfare of the nation at large so this is a very great thing second we will come on to two ways of shodhana before getting into that why this prediction has failed the rationalistic society of orissa and the rationalistic society the atheist society Uh, we have lot of other people one is rationalist second is scientist scientists say that astrology is not science at all then the third thing is atheistic society so the atheistic society rational society and scientific society they are against astrology and the atheistic society of orissa and the scientific community they organized a very big seminar on astronomy they told let all the astrologers come somebody should exactly or even appropriately predict the date of death of any national leader within this year nobody came forward 